Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. On this cold winter leg day, I'm sure a lot of you made a nice big pot of gumbo and enjoyed the Saints game next to a roaring fire instead of going out there into that cold. Good news is tomorrow the sunshine comes back out, but the winter lake temperatures are going to continue for a couple more days as we even have the possibility for a light freeze by Tuesday morning. But it does look like milder conditions for the second half, along with the chance for rain returning by about Thursday. Taking a look at the big picture, the big story today weather wise across the country were the heavy snows that fell across the southern Appalachian Mountains back through western portions of North Carolina and then up into Virginia as some locations in North Carolina saw one to two feet of snow as the system kind of slowly moved up to the north and northeast. Now the snow is falling mainly back through Virginia and are pushing up into the D.C. area, but a lot of it is now beginning to fall apart as it runs into some drier air, but it has basically shut down western portions of North Carolina where that heavy snow has fallen, but they should warm up and allow those crews to get the roads clear and even get those power lines back up as a lot of people are without power thanks to all that heavy snow. Outside of that, you have to go all the way to the other side of the country to find the next chance for rain moving into the Pacific Northwest. Some of that energy will be a part of our next system that arrives moving into about Thursday, but until then high pressure will be in control and that'll mean plenty of sunshine. But this evening we are still dealing with some of those low level clouds as you can see it's blocking out those city lights, so still have some of those low clouds and we'll continue for another couple hours. But during the overnight we should gradually begin to see those skies clear and that's when temperatures will begin to fall. Take a look at this temperatures did not move a whole lot today. We started out around 41, 42 and only got up to 44 degrees and that's where we have been for the last several hours here in Lafayette, also 44 in New Iberia. Most locations are still hanging on to those lower 40s, but we do have now a 38 in Alexandria as that cooler air is beginning to make its way down into our region. So I do expect us to be waking up to temperatures tomorrow morning and be in those 30s. So a very chilly start to our work week with those skies beginning to clear. So plenty of sunshine tomorrow afternoon as high pressure begins to build back over Texas. That high will then slide over top of us by Monday night. And as it does, winds will die down, setting up a very good good radiation cooling, so a very cold start to our day come Tuesday. As you can see, temperatures right around the freezing mark, so a good possibility for frost heading out the door Tuesday morning. Might even have to scrape that off the cars. And then as it moves over top of us and starting to get a little bit more of an easterly flow, temperatures get into the upper 50s with plenty of sunshine Tuesday afternoon. High pressure then will slide off to the east by Wednesday with the clouds returning, but with the southerly flow coming back, milder temperatures make their way back into Acadiana. We'll be up into the mid 60s, so feeling a little bit more like we should for this time of year. Have a weak cold front to the north, and with that southerly flow, we'll start to pull in some more moisture heading into our Thursday along with a warm front lifting. So by Thursday morning, a very low end chance for maybe a few isolated showers, but I think the better rain chance holds off until the afternoon as the main cold front begins to push into Acadiana and then continuing through the evening hours. You can see still around 9, 10 o'clock, a chance for a few isolated showers still with us before clearing heading into our Friday. But then on the back side of this, it'll get breezy and cooler again heading into our Friday's temperatures fall back into the mid 50s for afternoon highs with some sunshine beginning to clear by the afternoon. So temperatures this evening dropping slowly into the upper 30s by tomorrow morning with a sunny start. So grab the sunglasses tomorrow. Temperatures making their way into those mid 50s during the afternoon. So still a little bit on the cool side. Freezing start heading into Tuesday morning with even some upper 20s possible north of Highway 190 and then getting a little bit warmer heading back to the upper 50s to near 60 degrees by about Tuesday afternoon. So a very cold night. Clouds moving out 37 for that overnight low of some patchy frost possible north. Heading out to the school bus tomorrow morning. A very chilly start. You can see you'll need those heavy jackets 38 degrees and then by the afternoon sunny but cool still about 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. Rain starts to return by Thursday and then clearing out heading into next weekend with temperatures very comfortable in the low to mid 60s. All right, thank you, Eric.